Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim, Lorim. And last episode, we ended up getting some stuff ready for our character, leveling up a bit, and meeting Zalzaz, our new companion. Uh, we also got ambushed by these two random guards, which I don't think were actually guards, but who knows. But here we are, back in Lorim. I'm really enjoying it game just looks incredible still to me um fantastic i've done some more playing of another character off uh off build um and yeah it's been really fun actually really really fun that you have a hard time carrying everything try combining some giant's toes and river betties they'll improve your strength oh okay thank you for that sounds as i'll keep an eye out for uh that stuff giant toes and river betties but um what we're going to do now is our plan is to get to Winterhold and do some magic stuff, uh, level up a bit more. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, we have two options. We can either just fast travel there, or we can attempt to walk there now that we have Zalzaz with us. Uh, he'll be helping us out a little bit. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Also, there is one thing I did want to try. Uh, I've got Consecrate Undead here. Also, there is this. That I feel like I need to kill. I feel like I need need to. Okay, it hurt. Well, now that's that done. Um. Yeah, I want to see if this works. It does, and it actually heals me. That is actually incredible. I love that. I thought that could only be used on non-dead, but. As per the wording, it does say just use it on the dead. And I restore 6 points of health, magicka and stamina. So that's really cool. I I really enjoy that. That That's actually a really, really good spell. However, I could have sworn I just restored more than 6 points. Who knows? I don't I don't know. I don't really care. Um, also, there is one thing I need to check. Did I go into my destiny class menu? I did not, so we actually can increase our carrier weight by 25, which is even better. Seeing as we've got 145. There is one thing I do need to go and buy from Riften though, so I think I might make a little side trek into the... Is it Honeymead? No, I can't remember. Bolly's shop. Hashtag shit shop. Oh, it's Alakia. I don't have time for this foolishness. Now come along quietly and we won't have to get rough. Okay, I'm just going to ignore that. Don't feel like I need to get involved. Zalzaz, are you still with me? You are indeed still with me. Cool. I think one of the other really cool keys as well, not map. Is it V? No, C? B? Yeah, here we go. So B, you can use, like, you can have him wait. You can access his inventory or teleport do you as well which is i think is fantastic in case your follower gets stuck in the floor which happens quite a lot during skyrim i find uh even in vanilla just beetles are quite hard to come by in skyrim a shame i'd love to make some beetle puffs though they might not fit your palette i mean i am done most probably would anyway i forgot what i was talking about <clears throat> oh yeah so with vanilla even then my character still gets stuck in the bloody floor. Uh, I could swear that Skyrim is actually at times more buggy than Oblivion. But, doesn't matter. Fun game. And I'm hoping that this mod pack actually fixes most of the bugs anyway. But we will find out as we probably, no doubt, play through the game. It might be a few bugs here and there. But it is Skyrim. It's an Elder Scrolls game. It's kind of in the title. Uh, right, so. We're at Rift and I don't mind sprinting. Seeing as I now have a food guy once a day. We can wait actually. Let's let's talk to Zalzaz. What do you need? Can you cook me some food? Of course I can. Tomato yeah. soup. Perfect. This is fresh. Uh can you make me a potion? Sure. What kind of potion do you need? A potion of grand restoration would be absolutely fantastic, actually. Ah, yes. Very handy in a pinch, that one. Brilliant. Thank you very much. You are very useful. And I kind of just accidentally skipped some of what Zelzel was saying. Hopefully he'll continue, but he's talking about Branche, who we spoke to in the last episode. 
fact that he ended up an orphan in Blackmarsh, though. Were he spared while his parents were killed? That seems like a likely course of events to me. Ah, cool. I like little things like that, to be honest. I think it just adds a lot more uh, to the game. And, like, even just travelling and stuff. What time is it, actually? So, it is currently 6.29. Let's quickly see if... Uh, the pawned pawn. The pawned prawn. Hello. Oh, actually, this is not the place I thought it was. But who knows? You might still have what I need. And what might you need? Need something. Maybe not. Maybe this. Keep taking and taking. When is it going to end? What would you have me do? Hello there, friend. Welcome oh. To the pawned this pawn. is the place I needed. What can I help you? Take a look. Right, I need... Ah, he doesn't have it. I need a backpack. That's what I was looking for. Uh, nothing really here. Oh, I will take that, though. Going to be really useful. I can sell some stuff, can't I? Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, sell that. Sell that. Oh, bugger. I didn't mean to sell that. I can't buy it back. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I guess we live with our mistakes that we make. And continue on. I uh, need to learn these at some point. Mm -hmm. Well, bugger. That's annoying. I kind of wish I uh, didn't sell my heavy plating. Do need to find someone, though, that could potentially sell me a backpack. Oh, hello. Meow. Everything I've got on display, really. Um, you also don't sell anything that I need. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Uh, you won't sell anything. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Nah. Uh, Branche? Let me know if you see just what you see here. Just, please, <laughs> maybe, no. I mean, he's got he's got some Morrowind stuff actually. To be fair, he's got bone mold. Oh, I don't mind bone mold. I actually kind of like the idea of having that as my character's vibe, even though we do actually have a really cool theme that we're going to be working our way towards, uh, and that is just outside at of Windhelm, which we will need to go. But I probably feel like I might be a need need to be a bit stronger first. Right, well, the question is, I need to find a backpack so I can increase my carry weight. Um, also, actually, let's go home for the moment. Let's go to Honeyside. Just going to learn my spells, eat some food. Maybe, do we need to level up? No, we don't need to level up. We can't level up. Welcome home, Zalzaz. This is, uh, make yourself at home. I'm just going to be spending a, like four or five hours just reading some books. Uh, let's study for four hours. Probably going to be spending a lot more than four hours, but sure. Right. Uh, so we have now learned our new spell, Mystic Wind. So that's going to give us some passive uh, magic regeneration, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, absolutely love that, so I'm going to put that there. And we've got one more spell to learn, which would be Recuperate. So, getting to restore our stamina, which is going to be really important for us. Um, however, I do need to quickly eat something. There we go, I'm well fed. So, I can now learn this over the space of four hours. While I'm eating a bread roll, clearly. I'm going to read a book, eat some bread, come back, and I can restore my stamina. And now I'm slightly tired and I'm peckish. So, should probably sleep, actually, to be fair. I'm just going to eat some bread, some more bread. Because I like bread. I'm now well fed. I probably shouldn't be eating so much of this, but... Uh, well, we've got food and spades. Like, see? Bread. Cheese. Bed. Uh, let's sleep for a total of... Uh, let's get up at 8 o'clock in the morning. 
get some nice nice sleep in us. Probably t yeah, package again. So let's eat. Now fed. Uh, let's actually eat. have a cabbage, cabbage sandwich. Right. Well, I think that's it. I think that's us done for for kind of doing the spells that we need and the sleeping that we needed. Uh, right. So uh, we've got circle strength recuperate. Here we go. So let's put that also on. And we've also got recuperating hands as well. So we actually learned two spells, which is brilliant, actually. So this one actually costs us stuff. Uh, that one also costs. OK, so we do it on other or on ourselves, which is brilliant. But we're probably only going to be using it on ourselves anyway. Um, just going to take some more bread. Yeah, there we go. Sorted. Right, so. I feel like we're a little bit over encumbered. Uh, I'm just going to put this on. That's cool. I like that. Mystic Wind. Let's do this as well. Just get that passive magical regeneration in. Um, who... Is there any other shops in Riften? I don't think there was. Maybe the Forge might have a backpack I could, like, buy. Who knows? Oh my god, it's Geralt. Uh, can I... What you have to go? You do not have a backpack. Um, that's a shame. Doesn't matter, though. If you need any more smithing work, this is becoming the episode of like the hunt for the backpack. <laughs> like nowhere sells one. The only way, I, the only place I can think of one is in bloody Win uh, White Run. Oh, that looks cool down there. Is it just me, or every time like I'm in Riften, do I act like I never really go down here, ever? I mean, we don't really need to, but yeah. I've never really go down there. I know there's like a few like alchemy shops and stuff, but never actually in my entire life playing Skyrim ever really gone down there except to go and see Under Sewers bit um the Ratway. That's the one. Under Sewers is from bloody Star Wars. Been playing too much Kotor. Which is now back up and running, which is great. So if you do want to check out the Kotor series, please do. It's modded, it's great, it looked good. Um how far away are we? So we travel through all this road. We can get to Windhelm, which is around here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's travel to Windhelm. It's going to be our like our nice expedition that we've got going. We've got enough food. We've got our camping supplies. We don't have a bloody backpack. Theme of this video. But uh, we've got our sword and shield. Our katana, our silver katana, like that. So if there are any undead, better watch out. And we get to see how beautiful that this uh, this actually is. This place is. And I'm really hoping if I'm strong enough and all alternatively can cheese it, I can finally get the armor that my character is needing. Uh, in quotes, his ancestral armor that was stolen by him by his father. Uh, like it was his father's armor that was stolen. Stick to the path. Uh, let's not go running into danger because we will get slammed. And I don't mind sprinting as much anymore, actually, to be fair, because we sprint, but we have got our recuperation. So uh, we can be a little bit more, a, a little bit more careless, I would say. And that's a great thing about having uh, your, okay, that's actually, we're going to have to either go through or go around. Let's quick save. Let's, let's attempt to go through. But yeah, I, I can afford to be a little bit more careless now. Oh god. Oh Christ. Okay. Ouch. Right, here we go. Getting into a fight. Oh. Okay, I'm getting hit. Oh, 
Oh, I'm I'm very low on health. Run. Right, okay. I need to do that. And then I'm going to do recuperate. And then let's go for circular strength. Right, okay, we got this. Uh, let's quickly drink a potion, actually. Okay, I am very low on I can run at full speed. That's good. I have no magicka, but I can still run. I've got this bloody arch trying to kill me. Okay. Come on, you can die. Come on, I caught this. Oh, Christ, that hurts. Right, let's, uh, we, what was that potion that, uh, thingy gave us? Do we have it somewhere? Stamina regeneration, that would be good. Oh, Christ, okay, that's not, oh, bugger, um, I'm probably dead. I am probably very much dead. Uh, Grand Restoration. Okay, there you go. I'm dead. No worries. We'll reload. We're definitely not ready for this yet. <laughs> but uh, I feel like we could probably do it. But we're not going to. Not yet. This is how difficult the game is. Even with all of this stuff, you know, spells that we've got, we're definitely not ready for that. I was doing absolutely no damage to that bloke whatsoever. So we're just going to ignore... This isn't a like a no death run. We're not doing like any extreme stuff. I'm very I'm very much still new to Lorem. But uh yeah, we're just we're just gonna mosey on by. We don't need to get involved. We're still very much new to this, and I'm oh sure stone over here. I feel like we do need to get some healing though. Which i I'm pretty sure I can get from the college of hold anyway, which is where we are heading. Um, I was debating on whether or not we just go to Windhelm, sort the stuff up there, and probably then get a carriage. Um, but yeah, we're at Shore Stone. Great. So, uh, we can carry on this path north, and we should be able to get to Windhelm. Also, Fallow Stone Hall just over there. And Shore's Watchtower. Is this the one that has like all the undead around it? I hope not, because I don't really want to fight anything right now. And I do feel like we need to get another follower. I think our next one is going to be Janassa, but we do need to start old as an imp. See that bluey, glowy thing? Yeah, we're, we're ignoring you. Yeah, yeah, we're a coward. We need to level up. Um, but yeah, Janassa is probably going to be our next one. But to do that, we do need to do the main storyline and become one with the Dragonborn heritage that we've got going on. But we don't know that yet, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's talk a bit about our backstory for the character while we're sort of on this uh, this voyage, this expedition to Windhelm. So, we grew up in Morrowind. It, actually, we grew up in Vardenfell, in the city of Avec. Our father was a ordinator, and our mother was a uh, one of the uh, dissident priests. Uh, this was during sort of the, you know just after the time of the Nerevarine. Uh, and, the, you know, the fall of the tribunal and all of that sort of stuff. And the father obviously became a bone saint. So one of the few ordinates that turned to the reclamations. So following the original three, Azura, Boethia and Balakath. I think it might have... No, Mathala. 
forget the Morag Tong worship Mephala, so that's the other one. Oh, Christ. There's a wolf. But yes, yeah, so a bone saint was in charge of protecting the religious sites in Vardenfell. And I'm on fire. Oh, that is awfully hot. So and that's what his father was. And he grew up a priest of the temple, looking to do the same thing as his father, to, uh, trained in the sword's art, become a, a warrior. And that is pretty much where we are at right now. So his father was murdered, his mother died at, during, I don't know, childbirth or something, which making this up on the fly. And yeah, here we are trying to reclaim our father's lost armour. And that is our makeshift backstory that we've just given our character literally two seconds ago. Have not thought about this except for the fact I wanted to play Dunma. We can maybe develop the backstory as we go further on. Wolves aren't too hard to fight, so that's good. However, Zalzaz has a unique trait where he, if, where he uses fire magic, he gives me roasted meat. That's brilliant. Dress in shambles, and Salil in Black Marsh, and the Dominion in elsewhere. The number of slaves are at record lows. The ones that are left are jealously guarded. You will occasionally hear of slave raids. Oh, okay, so slavery is pretty much nearly abolished. Stealth is not your strong suit. To the air. There we go. We get more roasted meat? No, we don't. He didn't roast it long enough. Or is it roasted now? Sadly not. I do absolutely love these spells that I've got going. So these like utility spells is great. Uh, recuperate. I'm not sure, but um, it's interesting to know that Redoran are the ones who are... They were the ones who were fiercely loyal to House... Uh, well, to the Elm's EV. Uh, let's go for Consecrate Dead. There we go. I'm not sure if that's a glitch, but that completely regenerated all of my health. I'm pretty sure it was only meant to do six. Not sure if that is a glitch or not, but that's interesting. Right, let's have a look at our map. How far are we? About halfway. Cool. So, uh, when we're talking about back backstory, I wonder if you guys have sort of put maybe one, uh, two and two together, because I have installed a couple of extra mods, mainly for aesthetic purposes and role-playing purposes, but... Uh, one of the mods I've installed is actually where we're going to, what we're going to get. Right here, some wolvy wolves to, for us to, oh Christ, okay. There we go. I like you, Zelzaz. You are pretty cool. I couldn't put it better myself. Uh, oh, actually, probably should do some consecrating. Consecrate dead. Just to get our magic. Our health. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's OP. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think that's bugged. Oh. Who are you? Oh, torches. I'll take those. You look cool. Alexia. Thou seekest to put me down. Accomplish what these scum could not. Uh, what? No, I'm Redrain Indril. I don't want to kill you. Forgive my insolence. This road I walk is not a peaceful one, as thou is likely to know. I am Alexia. By mine own proclamation, I, I am a proud trouble, seeker really, of the right? curve you I'm see before so thine own eyes. To know how they end. What are you seeking, and why are you killing them? Dost thou know it? Their foul deeds and heinous actions, their undoing of all order. No, I haven't. So thou hast escaped the brunt of their attacks. Luck sides with thee. Yet 
Mine own path has strayed far from her caring gaze. They art an abominable coalition of miscreants and vagabonds alike, the dregs of society. Unmatched brutality runs rampant among them. Their whims shall only be satisfied with the downfall of civilization, demolishing the very foundations of each kingdom and empire. So they're just organized bandits. Distinction lieth well behind the countless common peasants. They art naught but ants compared to their leader. Charismatic enough to enthrall countless. A will potent enough to govern all and wise enough to direct his ambitions with frightful accuracy. Have you spoken to their leader then? Only in words. But tales of this exalted figure erupt from the tongues of each of the misbegotten. They are filled with such reverence for their leader that stories alone impart the knowledge of the influence he commands. The legends of his character grant me but one purpose. To seek his head. So you want to kill him? How will you do that? Not all serpents are so devout. One shall eventually capitulate in their resolve. Lay privy to me the knowledge I seek. <laughs> I promise thee. That upon our next meeting, one so weak-willed shall be found. For tis naught but a matter of time, and I shall await my prey. So, how long have you been hunting one of these people? Days morph into weeks, and still I walk this meandering road. They are solemn in their cause, but soon one shall falter. Uh, how large is a serpent's coven? I've not seen any of its members before. A budding sapling that seeketh a sprawling maze of intertwined roots and branches. The flame of revolution shall only spread. Mark my words. Without intervention, the infection shall only spread. That is why I ready mine hand to stem it before it consumes the body. Okay, I've got to leave now. Good luck on your journey. I thank thee. Farewell. You are an interesting one. Um, maybe, maybe we'll see you again. I I don't know. Thou says, let's go. Hurry up. This woman's a little bit crazy. Right. So, oh, I just got a quick save here. Uh, circle of strength. over your valuables or I will gut you like a fish um I'll beat you if I have to nice I am not going to ask again I don't have time for this oh my god ow that hurt you what come on Zaz, Zaz, let's... oh my god he's invisible oh, okay Zaz, Zaz, you can see him great uh let's just use a potion Your suffering is near end. there we go i get the final killing blow zauzaz does all the work perfect <laughs> that's how it should be god he hit like half my health in just one hit jesus is there any good stuff around nope campfire though right well that was an interesting chat and then suddenly uh nearly died yep love that love that for us we are nearly towards Windhelm, which is great. Pick up the pace a little bit. I'm not sure if this was always here, but if it wasn't, this is really cool. Like, that's sick. They've really made, like, just... They've really made Skyrim come to life if this is, like, all added in. I.e., Christ, as a bear. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. I really did not want to fight anything else. Um, okay. Um, I don't really particularly want to hurt you. Oh, for God's sake. Eee! Can I? Yeah, okay. That's it. Attack, attack, Zaz. Zaz. Come 
Come on. Right, this is like boss battle central now. Oh, Christ. Okay. I'm definitely going to be using up my last healing potion on this. Ah, right, we got it. Bloody hell. God, these fights are actually like just coming in thick and uh, thick and fast. Maybe I shouldn't have done this expedition. Oh, and is that a, a drag? No, no, it's not a giant. It's just a man on a cliff. You look cool, though. Who are you? Yes. Take a look. Oh, you're the. You're the person. You're the traveling. Oh, I want this so badly. Yeah, I'm. Oh my god, it's a lot of money though. Okay. Right. Oh, I really want this stuff. I mean, it's all evasion, but I really want this backpack. Oh, bugger. That's that's really sad. I wish I had more money. Do I have anything I could sell? I'm not selling my food, but I can sell these. I don't need them anymore. Sell the amethyst that I found. Grand soul gem. Yeah, sell those. Got one no nowhere even near close, but uh, potions. Do you want any potions of your health? That's great. You do not. Good day. Oh well, I see. We need we do desperately need to stock up on some more healing items. Let's have a quick check of our map again. Okay. Windhelm is very, very close. We should start to see Windhelm soon. Oh, a Coins Grove. That's actually really good for us. We have found civilization. And this place looks sick. This place is really cool. What's this? Braidwood Inn. Okay, so we don't need to go to the inn. But that is cool. There's also a huge building there. I wonder if that's like a temple to Kinnereth. Or Kine, as she's called in uh, the Garen people. This Kine's group is actually awesome. There's so much. And there it is. There's Windhelm. That's where we're heading. That's where we need to go. We finally made it. Oh, goodness me. We're finally at Windhelm. Oh, it's been a, uh, you know, very scary expedition. We've nearly died. Well, we did die. <laughs> we died once. There is one thing we do need to do. So we found Windhelm, but we do need to go this way. Give ourselves some stamina back. Uh, let's get circle of the circle strength sorted, and then we can just whip nicely to our shield when we need to. But if we head this way, and we do need to level up a little bit more, we are very like very much stuck right now, not doing much damage wise, no potential. Um, I desperately do need to start looking at getting some like one-handed damage perk in uh but we got the block stuff i think we we need to focus on survivability which we've kind of already done i feel like i might need to focus a bit more on damage now potentially possibly who knows oh is that a random crow just running like a maniac so yeah, we need to go over to here. So we're just going to stay on this road. Let's hope that the fights aren't going to be too hard. I really hope they're not going to be hard. They probably will. I'm probably very much not going to get the armor that I wanted. But we will see. I'll quick save here for the most part. I don't think we're, uh, we're quite going to be able to... To look the part, as it were. 
I don't even think having Zelzaz with me is going to make it much of a difference. Maybe if I had Chaser. Who knows? I'm hoping that's the name, but... Don't need... I, I, I don't need any fights here, please. Is that a fox? That's a fox. Okay, not a winter wolf. That's good. Oh, Christ. There's bears fighting each other. Okay, right. Run. That's a boss. A boss bar just appeared on my bloody... Okay. Quickly, just run. I, I... Oh, God, okay. Right. Who are you? Are you some form of dead person? Dunmouth Pass. There we go. I killed the zombie. Come on, just keep, keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Okay, we've got some nice potions there. Good. Thank God for that. Uh, oh, officer's armor. Interesting. Uh, I'll take the fur collar though. That is a, a. It's not as good as mine. I mean, that's better by just one point of armor. Um, I'll leave it for the most for the moment. But we'll take the potions for sure. Okay, this is cool. It actually shows like some of the Yeah, so it shows actually some of like the fallout from having um you know, what you call it, uh, the, the, the civil war between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials. Take out this bloody imp. Oh, okay. No! Oh my god, I died. Okay. Right, well, there we go. I think we're going to end it there. I think this is the end of the video. So, uh, we tried. Tried to reclaim our armor. We're definitely not good enough. We're probably back in Riften or Whip somewhere. Maybe White Run. I don't know. We're somewhere. Oh, we're home. Okay. Right, well. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be at the Windhelm Stables. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you do like this video, please do like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one. Peace out, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.